Hi, I'm Deprice, and today I'm going to show you how to do a palette knife painting. Now, for those of you that don't know what a palette knife painting is, basically you're using a knife instead of a paintbrush to achieve the results that you want. Now, what I love about palette knife painting is that it's very textured. Um, here is an example of a palette knife painting that I had done. This painting, if you can see it without the reflection, is um, of the sunflower. And this was inspired by Gustav Klimt's sunflowers. Um, here's a few more palette knife paintings. This eagle was done as a palette knife painting. And the cool part about this is that his wings are like super textured. They're, um, they catch the light and there is a dimensional quality to it, which is what I really, really like. Uh, and I also like the challenge of working with a palette knife. Here's another one with a little baby, um, with the little baby owls. And here is one of the florals. This is the Yellow Rose of Texas. And you'll notice, let me get that up nice and close so you can see it, um, that is super textured. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you this one that I have right back here. Now this is one of my trees. I love the trees. There you go, you get an idea. I'm gonna bring it up so you can see it a little bit closer. Where you should be able to see that. I'm gonna go up and down slow enough so you can kind of really check this out. Okay. There you go. Okay, so this is probably gonna provide some kind of inspiration for us um, in this class. Now, I just wanna go over a few things that you're actually gonna need uh, to be able to do this. And the first thing is you're gonna to have to figure out what you wanna do this on. So you can use a small canvas, something as tiny as this, which is an eight by 10. Um, I like to work a little bit bigger uh, because I just, I feel like it gives you um, a lot more freedom. And so I usually, I'll probably do both of them. I'll do a small one and then I'll do a 16 by 20, which is right here, ta-ta. So 16 by 20. Now, I also work on repurposed surfaces. And when I say that, I mean like this. Like this is a photograph that a photographer friend of mine, her name is Deb Hofstetter, that she did not like the printing on it, so she was gonna just pitch it basically. Um, and uh, she donated it to me instead. So she knew that with the palette knife painting that I could paint right over the top of something uh, because it is so thick and textured that it wouldn't be able to be seen. So like most uh, artists would not do that. So I'm huge on repurposing. So if you have something in your house that me <laughs> you'd like to give a crack at it and see if you make it into something that you love a little bit more than what it is, um, I say go for it. So, uh, the next most important thing that you're going to need is the heavy gel medium. This is what you're going to mix your paint with. Okay, this is a gel medium. It is for acrylic paints and basically you're, you're, you don't have to get a bucket this big. You can get it all the way down to like eight ounces. Um, it is a super heavy gel. And when I say that, Liquitex makes this version, I mean, it might be a little challenging to see in here. Uh, there you go. But the stuff, it looks white. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's super thick. It will hold its shape. So basically you will be able to move it and manipulate it and then it will, then you allow it to dry and it doesn't usually take too, too long. Um, but it will hold the shape. So it's, what, it's what's going to help you get the texture that we're really um, going for. Okay, the next, you're gonna have to figure out what kind of paints you want. Um, I love Nova paints. I think they're fantastic. They work great for indoor, they work great for outdoor. I've done lots of art projects with these. I've done uh, murals and cows and uh, all kinds of stuff, the United States. Um, so love these colors. You're basically gonna pick, you need a yellow. I'm probably going to use this one. I might use a magenta, which is one of my favorites for my red. And then I'm gonna pick a blue and I'm gonna go with a uh, phthalo. So don't let this limit you or think that, oh my gosh, you have to have that one. Pick the colors that you like. 
Um, if you already have pre-mixed colors, that's fine too. I'm teaching you about the technique and how to do this. Um, and then it's your creativity on how you want to put it together because you may not, you may have a different idea and that's totally cool because that's what art really is about. It's about you expressing, you know, your own idea. And then I'm, I'm going to use a yellow or a white, excuse me, um, because I want to go all different shades uh, in my color combinations. So now you have an idea. Um, the other thing that you're going to need, you're going to need some kind of palette knife. So you could literally paint the whole painting with one palette knife. And if that was the case, I would suggest either something like this, rounded, or something like this. They're both going to give you a little bit of a different effect and you can use you can use one palette knife to do the entire thing. I'm probably going to use both of these, um, mostly because I like them so much. Uh, I prefer to definitely use metal when I'm painting. They're incredibly um, thin and they they just they do cuts and everything very very clean. So metal is my choice. Um, the plastic I basically use for mixing. So that's what I use most of these. And these you might even recognize. Um, you can go to the Goodwill. Well, actually you can't go to the Goodwill right now, but you can go to the Goodwill and get all kinds of uh, old kitchen stuff that you could use for palette knife painting. These I use to mix a lot of my products. Some of these guys, some of these guys. And then this. So I'm gonna show you in the next section how we're gonna go ahead and do that. So these are the things that you need. Pick out your knives, pick out whatever canvas, uh, platform, whatever that you're gonna need or that you wanna paint on, your gel medium, your colored paints, and then what I would suggest for your mixing, um, where you're gonna do all your fabulousness and get your colors going, uh, I, you can use anything. You could use a piece of wood, cover it in plastic. You could use a plastic, um, regular you know board i use like a canvas panel and i basically cover it in plastic like saran wrap um and then i can do my mixing on top of it and then when i'm finished i can just take that and boom throw it away but it, it's a great way to repurpose um the canvases and use them um uh, while having a big surface to be able to mix your paints on so there you go um I think I've given you a little bit of a rundown. So go collect your materials and I will meet you back here and then we'll get into the mixing. I'll see you in the next section.